So I wanted to make sure that our audience got to hear some of your music. And we've selected a piece of yours, um, which in English is breath. And maybe you could tell us a little bit more. Yeah, um, the, the Hindi word in the name of the piece is sans, which means breath um, in in English. And, you know, this piece, interestingly, was actually um, and is actually the second or the, the, I would say the slow movement of my clarinet concerto. So I was writing a clarinet concerto at a, a certain time. And then, you know, the version you'll hear is not a clarinet concerto version. It's a version for um, piano trio. And so while I was writing this clarinet concerto, I, I also was about to, right after I had had the premiere, head out to France for um, the wedding of one of my really, really close friends who was a pianist and who plays in piano trios a lot. And I thought to myself, you know, there's this really great story of um, Cesar Franck's violin sonata and how, you know, it got premiered. Uh, it, it was written for Isai and his wife and got premiered at their wedding. And I thought, gosh, how wonderful would it be to do something like that? You know, so as I was writing this clarinet concerto, I I kind of wrote it so that I could write this other version of it as well. So um, that that piece had its premiere. And then Sans, the piano trio, actually had its premiere on the day of Susanna's wedding. But but we were all in Paris and it actually got premiered in LA on the same day of her wedding, randomly. It's just how it worked out. But um, it was really beautiful because um, since that time, um, Susanna actually came to, to Los Angeles and we had a concert. The first time she played it in the United States was actually the day before my wedding. So it was just this really <laughs> sweet story where this, this piece is kind of about breath, but kind of just about this, this, this trajectory of love, you know, finding someone like being so enamored with them, you know, just, just, just feeling this, this real warmth and love for someone. So, I mean, that was really what I wanted to, to put into the piece.